But tonight, an indoor mask mandate in place for almost all of the Bay Area. But one business in Contra Costa County says it's not going to follow the new guidelines. KPIX 5's Katie Nielsen is in Danville with the split views. Here inside Danville Bowl, you can see some customers and some employees are wearing masks, others are not. That is, despite the fact that masks are required indoors in Contra Costa County again, thanks to a new health order that went into effect at midnight last night. Katie Messina has an 11 year old, and they decided to come to Danville Bowl tonight to get out of the heat. And I don't know if I would have come today if I wasn't already here when I found out about it. At 11 years old, her kids aren't able to get vaccinated. Disappointed. I think that we all should cooperate on this effort and listen to the experts. I uh, probably wouldn't be back with my kids until it's mandated for everyone. Last night, just a few hours before the mask mandate went into effect, Danville Bowl posted this statement on its Facebook page saying it's aware of the mask mandate and will not be enforcing it. Going on to say, we believe everyone has the right to freedom and not constant retracting restrictions from the government. I think that they should do whatever they think is best. Businesses are choosing to either follow or not. For me personally, uh, being vaccinated, I feel comfortable going and it's up to the business how they want to enforce the mandate. The Contra Costa District Attorney's Office says it is aware of the Facebook post and will be sending enforcement officers to Danville Bowl. And if those officers find the bowling alley is violating health mandates, they'll give the business time to come into compliance before issuing a fine. Most businesses want to do the right thing. We don't want to be punitive. We're trying to work with them, educate them, and ensure that they can operate safely for everyone. According to the Contra Costa District Attorney's Office, if the bowling alley does not comply, it could face fines of $250 for the first offense and then up to $1,000 per day after that. But the DA's office says the main thing they want to do is just get these businesses into compliance and not have to levy a fine. In Danville, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5. And we tried to speak with the owner of Danville Bowl tonight, but he referred us back to the statement on their Facebook page.